Hi everyone, my name's Connor McDonald. Welcome to the KISS series, the Keeping It Simple with SQL, focusing on partitioning. Each of these sessions are quick introductory sessions into the topic of partitioning, but unlike other tutorials, these are focused on developers. In the world of DevOps, developers now have to understand some of the physical design characteristics of partitioning. In this session, we're going to look at some other partitioning options. These are examples of use cases that are less rarely used, but are still valid within the realm of business applications using partitioning. One of the things that you can do is you can have an index which is partitioned on a non-partitioned table. The way that we achieve that is using the global partition by clause when we create the index. There is no concept of a local partitioned index on a non-partitioned table because there are no table partitions to bind to. Alternatively, even if a table is partitioned, you could actually create an index which is partitioned on a different partitioning key. In this case, my sales table is partitioned by year, but my index is partitioned by location. Those use cases are particularly rare, but there is one special case where we often adopt this approach, and that is what's called a hash partitioned index. If you recall, our hash partition tables were initially designed to help with concurrency, but later on we introduced the concept of automatic segment space management, which generally solve that problem by scattering rows as they're inserted all over the table areas. Indexes, however, remain a problem when it comes to high concurrency environments, in particular if you're using a common example of an ascending key, for example, a timestamp or a sequence value. Because indexes are always stored in order, all insertions in high frequency environments will be going for the leading leaf block. That will introduce concurrency issues and contention, therefore slowing down your application throughput. A hash partition index can assist in this area because what we're doing now is breaking up those index leaf keys into multiple partitions. This is the syntax we would use. For example, I would create an index called the sales primary key on my sales table, globally partitioned by hash on the transaction ID. And as we always did with hash partitions, we would choose a power of two for the number of partitions. What this means now is the index has been partitioned into multiple segments, which means there are multiple leading leaf blocks. We are spreading the load, spreading the contention across multiple leaf blocks, therefore improving overall throughput. This is perhaps the only example I've seen in real production systems where we used partitioning that is not bound to a partitioned table. Thanks very much for watching. You can get the entire video series on partitioning from the playlist or just head over to asktom.oracle.com slash partitioning for developers. And don't forget to keep it simply SQL. See you all soon.